So first up, in order to live more in line with the Cancerian energies of the day, I decided to nurture myself first. The Cancer archetype can sometimes nurture others more than itself as a way to sort of avoid its own feelings and its own needs. So I thought, what a better way to get in touch with my nurturing nature um, by nurturing myself and going to visit my lovely acupuncturist. You often hear people talk about the archetype of cancer as representing home and honestly we all live in a home which is called a body. It's one of the most important homes we have as a human. Um, so I think it's actually also really fitting that I decided to go and get a little massage for myself to nurture my body on this day. And finally, the day ended by going to the beach. I met up with a friend and we headed to a beach nearby. And even though the moon in Cancer is in my 12th house and usually the advice is to spend time alone, I thought Cancer is all about connecting and sometimes when I'm alone, I can overthink. So why not just embrace having one small social activity for the day when the moon is in Cancer? All right, so it's two days after I recorded the cancer vlog. And honestly, I came home after the beach. My boyfriend prepared dinner for me. And then I went to bed like quite early. I was super tired from being in the sun. Um, but one of the interesting things that I wanted to mention here as well, that sort of my boyfriend preparing dinner for me brought up in my mind, is that the cancer energy can sometimes focus on nurturing others and not enough on allowing others to nurture it and this can be true even if you're not cancer if you have um, a specific day that the moon is going through cancer you can find that these tendencies might get activated for you as well or for example during cancer season um, when there's a little bit more of that cancerian energy you can you can see this come up as well uh, but overall, it was such a nice day. I was a bit, I don't want to say afraid, a bit skeptical about how the day would go. Cancer is an archetype that usually likes to stay safe and stay to the known. And sometimes it's an archetype that likes to stay home. Uh, and I had planned quite an active day. And I was also skeptical for another reason. Cancer was traveling on this day in my 12th house, right? I have... The sign of cancer in in my 12th house so the moon was transiting the 12th house on this day and if you've heard anything about the 12th house uh also the eighth and the fourth is that they usually encourage you to stay home on those days to focus more on your inner work and um to just allow things from the subconscious to come up and to deal with them and I thought like, okay, I'm not spending a lot of alone time necessarily on this day. So I wasn't sure how that would go. But I think it's also a really good lesson um, that an archetype like Cancer or maybe some of the other more um, gentle archetypes, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you need to spend time alone. Or when you have things transiting your 4th, 8th or 12th house, you don't have to spend time alone. Sometimes spending time alone can become over dang uh, dangerous. You overthink. Uh, you tend to get in your head too much and you sort of get yucky. And I mean, to a certain extent, you don't want to go the other way, that you're never alone and that you're ignoring working on yourself and, and improving your subconscious. But at the same time, uh, sometimes it's just like, okay, I've spent too much time alone. I've overanalyzed and overworked my subconscious and I just need to get out and spend time with people. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind if you're experiencing a moon in cancer or a moon transiting your 12th house. 
uh, yeah, but overall, I really enjoyed filming the day for you and I really enjoyed just the day itself. It was super nice to nurture myself like that. Believe me, it doesn't happen every day. Uh, I'm curious, let me know in the comments if there are certain cancer, moon cancer activities that you like to do yourself and maybe I'll try them out the next time the moon is in cancer. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I hope to see you again soon.